This event is happening uh, June 16th, 17th, and we're we'll inviting men of color from across the state, and literally dozens and dozens of people that are your peers will be here on campus, and maybe a dozen or so people that are my peers are gonna come up to do our thing with you all. Um, what are your thoughts on why you would want to come to this kind of event? And why you would think you would want to invite other people to come to your campus as your host? Why not? That's all I can say to these simple. Why mm -hmm. not? It's an opportunity. You probably won't be doing anything better at the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Um, I think it's good to have other people hear your story hear their story, where they came from, what made their experience, who they are, and just discuss. Great, great. Definitely just to see more people like myself, just because you only see a, a small number of black men in school, so just to see a lot of people like me make me feel better, and mm -hmm. definitely like working. Mm -hmm. It's good to come. Well, I think it is a great opportunity to offer to an individual a new perspective, to, to learn from other people's you know, path and uh, how they have achieved and they have accomplished, you know, professionally or personally. I think uh, learning from anyone's experience is, is, is wisdom there, you know. Um, so um, often we don't have our mentors in our family, we don't have those people that have uh, seen the way. Uh, and I think that by pulling people together that have seen the way and have reached out and have accomplished, you know, I think that will give a better perspective to people coming to such a thing, such a thing. Great. Well, you have to view yourself as a difference maker. Mm -hmm. You have to share a vision, and you have to believe in that vision. Welcome to the Men of Color Summit. A lot of people have been asking me this question, and I think that the, the answer is individualistic for many. The opportunity to network, to be around people that are struggling in the same kinds of ways, that they are struggling. The opportunity to meet and greet those that are just a little bit further down the path of success and development than they might be. To learn from some people who are far along the path in politics, in law, in medicine, healthcare, and, and learn from them in ways that are personal, deep, and enriching. All of these I think are significant reasons, but the most important reason comes from within. What is it that you need? What is it that you require? What is it that you need to take the next step for your own success in educational development. I think there's a lot that can be achieved, but the first step has to be one that comes from within. President Obama said that we are the ones that we have been waiting for. That can mean a lot of things to a lot of people, but to me it means a couple of things. One, we have it within ourselves to achieve the goals that we wish to achieve. But it also means that for some time we have also been waiting for ourselves to make this happen. That we can do this regardless as to who our leadership might be or will be. And so it's time for us to take those steps forward. It's time to us to become the persons that we've been waiting for. To pick up those that are falling behind and to push those that are striving ahead. Catch up with those and surpass those ideas that those that came before us laid down. It's time for us to make these things happen and we can do it.